time. It's always ticking. It's persistent, relentless. But have you ever wondered why twice a year we change our clocks? Today, we're diving into the fascinating history and reasoning behind Daylight Saving Time. To understand Daylight Saving Time, we have to go way back to the 18th century. Benjamin Franklin is often cited as the first proponent of the idea while serving as an American delegate in Paris in 1784. As a satire, he wrote a letter suggesting that Parisians could save on candles by waking up earlier to take advantage of morning sunlight. However, Franklin's letter was meant as a joke, and he never seriously proposed changing the clocks. The credit for the original idea goes to George Vernon Hudson, an entomologist from New Zealand. In 1895, Hudson presented a paper to the Wellington Philosophical Society proposing a two-hour daylight saving shift so that he would have more after-work hours of sunlight to collect insects in the summer. But Hudson wasn't the only one intrigued by the idea. In 1907, a prominent English builder named William Willett was riding his horse in the early morning when he noticed how many Londoners were still in bed, wasting precious daylight. Willett was so taken with the idea of saving daylight that he published a brochure called The Waste of Daylight and campaigned for the idea until he died in 1915. But it wasn't until the midst of World War I that countries began to seriously consider the idea. As part of the war effort, Germany was the first to implement daylight saving time in 1916 to conserve coal. The rationale was simple. Longer daylight hours meant less need for artificial lighting. Britain and many other European nations soon followed suit. The United States joined the daylight saving bandwagon in 1918 after entering World War I. Congress passed the Standard Time Act, which set the clocks one hour ahead from late March to late October nationwide. However, it proved very unpopular especially among farmers, and was repealed after the war in 1919. Daylight saving time made a comeback during World War II due to wartime energy conservation needs. President Roosevelt instituted year-round DST, which became known as wartime. But after the war, states could choose whether to continue observing it. The result was chaos with some states and cities adopting their own DST rules. Finally, in 1966, Congress passed the Uniform Time Act to standardize daylight saving time across the country. It mandated DST to begin on the last Sunday of April and end on the last Sunday of October. A few exceptions were made for states like Hawaii and Arizona to remain on standard time. So why do we still follow daylight saving time today? Well, one of the main reasons is believed to be energy conservation. The logic is simple. Longer daylight hours equals less need for artificial lighting. But does it produce energy savings? Well, the results are mixed. There is a small reduction in electricity usage for lighting, but some studies show an overall increase in energy consumption due to more demand for heating and air conditioning. The energy saving benefits are quite minimal. Beyond energy usage, daylight saving time affects our health and safety as well. The disruption in people's sleep-wake cycle when the clocks spring forward in March coincides with more traffic accidents, workplace injuries, and heart attacks. The loss of an hour also correlates with decreased productivity and a rise in stress hormones. The effect on our biological clocks can persist for weeks after the time change. Today, over 70 countries use daylight saving time although the dates and times when the clocks change vary depending on the country. In the United States, for example, the clocks are set forward by one hour on the second Sunday in March and set back by one hour on the first Sunday in November. In Europe, daylight saving time runs from the last Sunday in March through the last Sunday in October. In the Southern Hemisphere, where the summer season begins in December, daylight saving time is recognized from December through March. Kyrgyzstan and Iceland observe daylight saving time year-round. Equatorial countries do not observe daylight saving time at all. It's difficult to say for certain whether daylight saving time will eventually be phased out, 
as it ultimately depends on the decisions of individual countries and their governments. Some countries have already abolished daylight saving time, while others continue to use it. In recent years, there has been growing debate over the usefulness of daylight saving time. Some studies have suggested that the energy savings associated with daylight saving time are minimal, and that changing the clocks can disrupt people's sleep patterns, leading to health problems. Others argue that the practice still has benefits, such as allowing people more time to enjoy outdoor activities during the longer summer evenings. In the United States, for example, there have been several proposals to abolish daylight saving time in recent years. In 2019, the state of California passed a bill to make daylight saving time permanent, meaning that the clocks would no longer be changed twice a year. However, for the bill to take effect, it would require approval from the federal government. Similarly, in 2021, the European Union proposed abolishing daylight saving time across all member states, although the decision on whether to do so will be up to each member state. Given the ongoing debate surrounding daylight saving time, more countries may choose to abolish it in the future. However, it is also possible that some countries may continue to use it, depending on their specific circumstances and the preferences of their citizens. Today, daylight saving time remains controversial, and not all states participate. Hawaii and Arizona have opted out completely, along with U.S. territories like Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, American Samoa, and Guam. Internationally, countries like China, Japan, India, South Korea, and many others don't observe daylight saving time at all. And some countries have abandoned DST after experimenting with it, like Russia and Iceland. So, in summary, while daylight saving time has historical roots in energy conservation, its benefits today seem to be debatable as our use of lighting and climate control has evolved and there are noticeable impacts on health and safety. Many experts argue that the practice is outdated, but there remains disagreement on keeping it or ditching it. So the next time you change your clock, remember the insects, the builders, the soldiers, and the lawmakers who brought us this peculiar practice. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories. Until next time.